Hello and welcome to my review of the Adeptus Custodes Shield Captain. Now, you can't buy the Shield Captain separately. You can buy the Captain General, uh, Trajan Valoris, separately. But um, to make the Shield Captain in Alaris uh, Terminator armor, you're going to have to get the Alaris Custodian uh, box set, which costs you £30, um, which isn't too bad. You know, it's £5 cheaper than the the Death Guard, Death Shroud um, box set at least. Um, and you can make a few models out of that set. One of which being the, the Shield Captain. Now the way I've uh, built mine is I've given him a Castellan Axe. Uh, so it gives him a, a Strength 8 uh, weapon. Um, he's got this uh, little Ballistus Grenade Launcher, which is actually pretty good. Um, you know, he's got this uh, fancy sort of uh, loin area cloth thing. He's got the normal tacits. Thank you for the viewer that um, told me about those. He's got his Misericordia that just defies gravity uh, on his cloak there. And then he's got this massive plume. You know, the bigger the plume, uh, the, the, the more VIP you are, apparently. The only downside with this uh, shield captain is... Well, he doesn't have a shield for one. <laughs> I, I, I always wanted to say that. He just has a normal axe. He doesn't have, uh, none of the axes in the set come with like a, a sawn off kind of axe, which is pretty poor in my opinion, because, um, you know, they've gone to the trouble of making this loin sort of armor or whatever, um, you know, slightly different and the plume bigger. I think that they could have just made the ornaments on the head a little bit different and made a, a different sort of cutout for the axe, because all these axes, these castle axes are the same. I just think um, if they're pushing this set to build those individual individual characters they should go a little bit a little bit further but anyway that being said um a joy to build all of these alaris uh, terminators are a joy to build so if you um build if you've got your uh, custodian guard your normal custodian guard these are actually in my opinion easier um to build and that's because they're more of a monopose the tacits um glue better and so on but uh, yeah the legs are in a bit of a static pose but yeah i think they're they're great models uh, definitely a lot of detail um as you come to expect uh, i'll show you some size comparisons uh, right now actually um so that's obviously the shield captain that i made this is a uh, trajan valoris um trajan valoris is uh, taller he's probably the the tallest one out of uh out of the custodian guard now um, I need to go and get uh, Ixine Hale to, to find out just uh, the sizes there but there you go next to you know normal custodian guard obviously he's got a spear and um, so it does look uh, taller but um, yeah custodian guard are pretty pretty tall but obviously the uh, Alaris Terminator adds that thickness um, let's just compare it to a forge world um, uh, Quillen Terminator. I've actually got two here, uh, but they're both the same height. Uh, but let's use the one with the Adrathic uh, Destructor. Um, obviously, the base is 50 mil base compared to 40. Um, there we go. The Aquilin is still taller and uh, and thicker, you know, headwise. And this armor plate at the top. Um, yeah, I mean, definitely the leg plates. You can see there just how much. Uh, bulk they've they've got um i mean the cloaks do do a good job at adding a bit a bit more a bit more thickness um but yeah you can't deny these thick boys um so yeah there you go uh what i'll also do is just show you a couple of size comparisons with the uh uh with the normal terminator here we go so yeah sort of uh shrinks the terminator a little bit same base though and then uh normal space marine so we've got a normal space marine which again, like I said before, looks like uh, take your child to work day. And uh, Primaris um, just shows you how tall Primaris space springs are compared to the Emperor's finest, finest, or whatever. So I hope those help. This is my part of the review where I'll just talk to you about uh, all of the shield captain's rules. Now, I worked out that this shield captain in Alaris uh, Terminator armor, uh, which is 148 points, because you pay for the Castellan Axe, then you pay for the Mis Misericordia, and then you pay for um, you know the, the unit itself. It's a power points cost of an eight, which is still one less than the uh, shield captain on a Dawn Eagle jet bike, um, but it is one power point cost more than uh, your standard uh, shield captain, but two less than uh, Trajan Valoris. And it's got some better abilities than Trajan as well, actually. But let's just talk about its stat line. 
Its movement is six inches, which is pretty fast for something in Terminator armor. Uh, weapon skill is two plus, ballistic skill two plus, strength of five, toughness five, wound seven, attacks five, leadership nine, and save of two plus. So it's actually got exactly the same stat line as Trajan Valoris, um, with the exception of the leadership. The leadership is uh, one less with this shield captain. His weapons, he's got a, he's got the ballistic grenade launcher, which is no joke. It's a 12 inch assault D3 weapon. Its strength is only four, but it's eight AP is great at minus three and its damage is one. It would have been great to have an additional like ability to that weapon like um, secondary ex explosions or if it causes a wound it causes an, uh, another wound. That might have been a bit OP but that's just uh, my way of thinking. The Castellan Axe which is what this uh, model is equipped with. It's got two weapon profiles like the Guardian Spear so it's got a shooting uh, profile and a melee profile. So for shooting, it's a range 24 inch, rapid fire one, strength four, AP minus one, damage two, and melee, uh, you just plus three strength, AP minus two, and damage D3. You compare that to uh, Trajan's Watcher's Axe, it's not as good, the strength is not as good, but its AP is the same and its damage is the same. And in melee, it's not as good either because it's only a strength plus three instead of a strength times two. The AP isn't as good, it's only minus two instead of minus three, but again, does the same amount of damage, D3. Uh, Misericordia, which, is, which this one's got as well, that's the same as uh, Trajan's. Uh, you can instead equip him with uh, a Guardian Spear, which gives him the same shooting profile, but in melee, it only pluses his strength by one, so strength six, uh, but introduces the AP minus three. Still damage D3. So it's up to you whether you want that higher strength or the better armor penetration. And because the ranged weaponry is, is the same. The war gear options, uh, your shield captain, like I said before, may swap, may replace its guardian spear with the castellan axe, and it may take uh, misericordia. Its abilities, Aegis of the Emperor, means he's getting a five plus invulnerable save, which is different than the um, Cataphracti um, Forge World Aquilin Terminators, because obviously they're basically it's Cataphracti armor, so they're getting a, a four plus invulnerable. But uh, these Alaris, they're only getting the five plus, but you're comparing 40K to Horus Heresy, um, and we won't go there. And the Aegis of the Emperor also incorporates the psychic damage resilience too. So you roll a d6 each time a model with the ability suffers a mortal wound in the psychic phase, and on a six, the mortal wound is ignored. Um, so that, that might help as well. Inspirational Fighter. You can re-roll hit rolls of one made for friendly Adeptus Custodes units within six inches of this model. Similar to uh, Trajan's uh, ability, his is a re-roll wounds as well as hits, but this one is just hits. And then finally, he's got a teleportation um, ability from Golden Light. During deployment, you can set up this model in a Godstrike pattern teleportarium array instead of placing it on the battlefield. At the end of your movement phase, this model can teleport into battle. Set it up anywhere on the battlefield that is more than nine inches away from any enemy models. So that's one sort of trick up its sleeve that uh, Trajan doesn't have. He, Trajan can't teleport anywhere. He's gonna be foot slogging it across the battlefield or being carted around in a non-teleported uh, land raider. Long range weaponry, long range uh, shooting armies, uh, it's gonna be difficult to wear these guys down, um, but once they start giving casualties, like I've said before, their effectiveness is just gonna go down the pan. Comparing this uh, shield captain in Alaris uh, Terminator armor to a normal shield captain, as I said before, it's one more power point, but the standard shield captain can take a storm shield, and obviously if you do that, that model is getting a three plus invulnerable save. The only difference is it's got one less wound. So same number of attacks, same leadership, same save, but uh, you can take the storm shield with that shield captain to get that three plus invulnerable. Um, but again, he can't teleport. And the thing is with all the Horus, Hor Horus Heresy mo uh, novels I've, I've read, custodies are teleporting all over the place. So my real question is what's up with all this Alaris Terminator armor? Um, because normal custodian guard, uh, they've got their aura might, which is the the two plus save, and then the aegis of the emperor, which is a five plus invulnerable. Alaris terminators, um, the only sort of difference I can see, and I'm pretty much comparing them to uh, wardens in this respect, is the wounds. That's the only thing. Normal custodian guard have three wounds. Uh, wardens have three as well, but the Alaris have four. So instead of the Terminator armor giving them a better and vulnerable save, like a, a four plus and vulnerable, um, 
It doesn't. It just gives them this five plus uh, invulnerable save, which all your normal custodian guard are gonna have anyway. And that's a shame. I would have liked them to have incorporated this new Terminator armor like the Cataphracty armor. Maybe this is a complete overlook on Games Workshop's half because at present you can use Cataphracty um, equipped Terminator models in your games of 40K. They're in the, the normal Space Marine Codex and, they, and although their stat line is not nearly as good with the Strength 5 and the Toughness 5 and that many wounds, um, they are getting an invulnerable 4 plus save. But anyway, that's just a, a point I wanted to make and I'll probably bring it up in the uh, Alaris Terminator review too. Overall though, it depends what kind of playstyle you want to go for. If you want to um, teleport in, then at least uh, this army gives you the option of having a Shield Captain in Alaris uh, Terminator armor that can teleport in with your other Alaris Terminators and he can really buff them up with the, the reroll and the hit rolls of a one. And that is the trade-off for that better, you know, invulnerable save that the normal shield captain can get if he if you give him a storm shield. You're getting the ballistus grenade launcher, the one more wound, and the ability to, to teleport in. And that's all I really want to say about the uh, shield captain in Alaris Terminator armor. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you think uh, one of these should have an invulnerable save? Um, even like an Iron Halo 4 Plus save. You know, they've obviously got a few of them lying around. As always, put it in the comments below. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. The Emperor Protects.